Hi, uh, welcome to this quick walkthrough of galleries. So here we are at Maxi and James's engagement session gallery. So we've got, in this case, different folders. There may be folders, there may be not in the one that you're looking at. I've separated this one into color photos, black and white photos, and all photos here. Now, the first important thing to notice is that in this top right hand corner, you can share this entire gallery with family or friends. So you can share on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, but in this case, I won't do. Let's just cancel out of that. So let's go into color photos. This is the kind of layout that you should expect to see. Okay, so you can scroll through these on the size they happen to be at the time. The other thing to notice is that if you click on any photo, it will appear larger and you can use the uh, buttons to um, go to the left or right. Okay, so let's go right, scroll through these photos. Okay, and you'll see some options down here while you're doing that. So I'm going to go back to the gallery and give you the overall view. Now what's interesting also is that as you hover over each photo, this bar will appear at the bottom. Okay, so if you want to favorite this photo, so you see there's a favorites uh, section up here, just click on the star to favorite it, and let's click this one as a favorite, and let's choose this one as a favorite. So we've got, uh, did I click that? Yep, now we're going to have three favorites when we get to there, and here they are. Now let's say we're not sure if we fancy this photo or this photo best. Let's compare photos. So let's click on select to compare and select to compare. And suddenly you've got the two side by side. So when looking at these, um, they are very similar, but let's just say that that's our favorite. So I'm gonna unfavorite this one by clicking on the star. There you go, that's gone. And I'm gonna exit compare mode. And here we are, so we're in favorites. Now, um, you can either buy uh, these favorites by sort of clicking buy here, but if we go back to home and go back into the color photos here, and I want to buy an individual item, uh, then I'm just gonna click on the shopping trolley. Now you may have packages uh, or you may only have single items, but either way, it's a case of clicking on and in this case, I'm going to go to items and prints. Let's choose an eight by 10 inch. And you've got the choice of luster or gloss in this case. If you click on luster, for example, you'll see a description down here that gives you an idea of the finish. So let's go with this one. Now I'm going to edit the crop because the photo as taken is not eight by 10 in uh, its uh, aspect ratio, we call it. So let's click Edit Crop. You can see a red triangle comes up here and I'm just gonna do that because that looks really nice and set the crop. So this is what's going to appear in the photo that you get printed. We'll go down to the bottom. We've got one item at the moment. Let's click it to two just to show you what happens. Add to cart. And now it's going, you can obviously add another print here or if you view the cart you'll see a summary, so you've got the, the crop, which is edited there, you've got two prints, and let's go to checkout to just show you what happens there. So once you're in the checkout screen, all you have to do is just enter your email address, telephone number in case I've got any queries, I need to check with you about the print uh, address so that we can send it to you, and your payment details. And once you press the uh, place order. Everything's done. But if you've got any questions at all, uh, if we go back to the cart and up here is an info button, then there are ways to get in contact with me. So you've got telephone, email, Facebook, Instagram, anything you need. So any questions at all, do reach out and thanks for looking.